Many machine learning models can be classified into two categories. Generative model. Discriminative model. Understanding this difference is critical. I would like to start this right up with a story. A father has two kids, kid A and kid B. Kid A has a special character whereas he can learn everything in depth. Kid B have a special character whereas he can only learn the differences between what he saw. One fine day. The father takes two of his kids, kid A and kid B, to a zoo. This zoo is a very small one and has only two kinds of animals say a lion and an elephant. After they came out of the zoo, the father showed them an animal and asked both of them. Is this animal a lion or an elephant? The kid A. The kid suddenly draw the image of lion and elephant in a piece of paper based on what he saw inside the zoo. He compared both the images with the animal standing before and answered based on the closest match of image and animal. He answered, the animal is lion. The kid B knows only the differences, based on different properties learned. He answered, the animal is a lion. Here, we can see both of them is finding the kind of animal. But the way of learning and the way of finding answer is entirely different. In machine learning, we generally call kid A as a generative model and kid B as a discriminative model. Let's go in deeper more. Discriminative models, as the name suggests, are primarily centered around learning decision boundaries that separate different classes. Mathematically speaking, they maximize the conditional probability, which is read as follows. Given an input X, maximize the probability of label Y. As a result, these types of models are explicitly meant for classification tasks. Popular examples include logistic regression, random forest, neural networks, decision trees, and many more. Generative models, on the other hand, are primarily centered around learning the class conditional distribution. Thus, they maximize the joint probability by learning the class conditional distribution. Popular examples include Naive Bayes Linear Discriminant Analysis LDA, Gaussian Mixture Models As generative models learn the underlying distribution, they can generate new samples. However, this is not possible with discriminative models. Furthermore, generative models possess discriminative properties, for example, they can be used for classification tasks, if needed.